Welcome, here is Quist and today we are playing Lords of War, which is a game from Nick Street and Martin War from Black Box Games or in Germany from Heidelberger Spiele Verlag for two players. I think you can play it with more players, but I don't think that's recommended. And for 30 minutes. Um, it's a fantasy themed game, but the theme is not really there. It's a, basically an abstract game. Uh, a card dueling game um, that reminds of a little bit of the Final Fantasy card games in Final Fantasy 8 and 9 I think Tetra Master and Triple Triad where you put cards down uh, with numbers and then they battle against either each other and the yeah, and remove the cards that has a lower number. So, as I said, the theme is not really there. I played the first game of elves, so I'm playing with elves again. Yes, I want to do that. And how does this game work? We have here a battlefield grid. And each player starts with a hand of six cards. And no matter what happens, um, after you play a card, you draw up to six again. Every player has a leader. I, um, no, I don't. I want to show it big. I forgot how to do that. Um, with this symbol and this is the strongest card and it attacks in this direction with 4, this direction with 4, this direction with 3 and these directions with 2 and has a defense of 6. So it gets defeated basically when there are arrows pointing at him with a value of 7 so that is greater of his defense. And and the goal is to defeat 20 of your opponent's cards or 4 of the commanders or leaders. So if this card is defeated it counts against the 4 um, that your opponent has uh, won against. So I want to undo that. And um, yeah, if one player has uh, accomplished one of those two goals, one four, um, one four, uh, defeated four of the commanders or twenty of any card, then the game is over. There are special rules for some of the cards. I will explain them later as the game goes on. Um, the game is the newest edition of Yukata D. It's only a few days old, and I'm playing against Stonecrusher, who programmed or implemented this game there. So yeah, thanks for playing. So let's see what I can do. So this, um, I hope you can see that it's a pr the numbers are pretty small, and I forgot what Stonecrusher told me. Um, how to make the cards big without playing them. Uh, but it seems like this is a 5 and this is a 5. 5 is the highest number you can get, so this is really useful. It has only a defense of 1, but you can use this to defeat some cards that are hard to defeat. Um, this is an archer with a ranged combat. I will explain that later how that works. But I don't, really don't want to play this yet. This is another card with a defense of 1 and 2 fives. So this is basically the same card with the, this one. And this is another card with a defense of 1 and 2 fives. Wow. I don't think I want to draw 3 of them in my hand, but well, that's that happens. Um, and this is a cavalry which has also special rules. Uh, three, two, one, three, and two. I'm not sure what I 
should play. I think I play the cavalry, and then I have the best options for next round. How can I? Uh, I have to tweak the layout a little bit in the next video. Okay, that's my turn. So he put here, I zoomed in, I hope uh, you can see it. And there's, it has four on all four sides and six defense. And so um, the first two turns it is predetermined where you have to put your cards. I had to put here, he had to put here. And now from now on every card has to attack an opponent's card. So one of your um, arrows has to point at an other player's um, card. Besides of um, archers, they can be put like this card. It attacks in this 3 by 3 range in front of him in with a, a strength of 3. This number is really small, you can't really see, but it's a 3. And so I can put it besides my um, besides a card that I already have. It has to touching one of my has to be touching one of my um, own cards. I can if I have a card here, I can put it here and attack this one, for example. But if an archer gets attacked by itself, it can't do a, a range attack. And also, I think spear units which I don't currently have any, um, can also be uh, support units basically which uh, can be put besides of one of your own units uh, and not attacking one of your opponents, but I don't see the point in doing that. Maybe there are some situations where you want to do that. I'm not sure. So I think I put this card here, so um, it has an attack of 4 against him. And next turn I put one of my archers here to defeat it because 4 and 3 is 7 and this is enough to beat the defense of 6. And I put this cavalry back into my hand because it's a very strong, strong unit and normally you can put at the end of your turn one of your units back into your hand if it's not attacked. But cavalry units you can put always back into your hand, which is really, really powerful. So I use this card now and put it here and put the cavalry recall into my hand. So he put here a card with a 5 uh, attacking in my general or my commander, I forgot what it's called. Uh, but if my, uh, it gets defeated, he gets a double turn, it's special if you kill uh, the, this commander or general, I'm not sure what it's called, I forgot it. So, But he has only 4 defense, so I think I play one of my special cards here. And does it matter? These are similar, I think I play one of these. So I think I play this one. Whoa. Oh, I forgot about this is a Berserk card. Um, it has the effect that it attacks as often as it can in a, in a row um, and moves so it defeated this card so it mo moved in this in this direction so if another card would have been here it would have moved again and attacked again so yeah that I have to keep that in mind but I really don't want that he defeats my commander here so yeah, that's why I still think it was the right decision to play one of these. Alright, so he put this card here. Uh, you might not fully see it, but it points with a 3 in my direction and of course defeated um, the 
this low defense um, card that I had. So he only needs a 4 to defeat my general. And as you can see, this is his general, and he has a 4 and a 5 here, and a 7 defense. So he can easily do that. So I have two options, either I put my archer here, with one attack here, and defeating this one. Or I just use one of my other fibers here, and defeat this card once again. And I really won't, don't want to lose my general, so I think... I use this card and put it here. And this is my turn. So he put this card here with three freeze here and a ranged attack of two pieces. I'm not sure if I'm seeing this right. So it seems he's only attacking this one, not this one, right? Um So again he is uh, attacking my general. I could just attack this one because if it gets attacked he can't shoot. But I'm not sure with which card because um, I couldn't put this one here with a free but it's only it has only free defense, so he can easily put this card here and defeat it. And then I must just do in a worse position than before. I can put this one here, but it has only four defense, and he can just put it here and defeat it. And then it's the same case. So I'm tempted to play my last f uh, of the fiver here. Just defeat it. Um, let me think about that for a second. I guess it's a terrible mistake, but I still like the best to just defeat it right away because I'm if I'm just attacking it, I'm bound to lose either this card or the card I'm attacking it with. So I think I just put this here and that's my turn. So as I was hoping for he's out of good options. He has a free defense on one attack on each direction unit which didn't defeat this one and only attacks a little bit this one. So I'm sticking to the original plan and use an archer now. And I'm using... Does it matter which one I'm using? They're both the same, right? Yeah, so... I'm using this one. and shoot this one and at the same time attacking this one. This is really good. This is my turn. Oh nice, I already defeated four four <laughs> what? not sure why okay and four of his cards and one of his um, commanders so now he put a card here, so this card can't, can't shoot anymore. But I only need free attack to defeat this card. So basically I can use this card for example. I can also use this one. No, not really because I have 
can't put it here yeah I like this card here to defeat it and next turn I can maybe recall this unit because it's a cavalry it's my turn so my opponent is now attacking this cavalry unit but I'm not worried about it because I'm re calling this unit this turn. I think I'm defeating this one because he can do a range attack here and I only need one attack so I think I play one of my weakest units probably this one here the lower corner then I shoot here oh I can also recall this unit now this is probably better yeah let's do that instead so maybe I should have uh, retreated with my cavalry unit because now it's gone he defeated it with this guy here um, I now I don't really have a lot of good cards I wasted them all to defeat the earlier ones um, he has 6 defense, he has 3 defense but free, I ca don't really have a lot of cards that go right or down down is the only card that goes down is this one with only one attack and right the best one is I have is this one with 3 but it gets attacked with this one with 4 and it has only 3 defense so it would get defeated right away so that is uh, not an option either uh, attacking this one is also hard because I'm, I'm not getting attacked only from this, this or this side and that's the same I don't have any um, strong cards in this direction I have this one with two attack but then I still need five attack left and he has still this card with a five attack here so if I put this out he could defeat me with his general right away if I put this one here to attack with four I still get attacked with two which means he could put his general out to get defeated with and I get defeated also so I don't really have a lot of good options um, I have this 5 attack in this direction so I think I put this 2 here out so that I have 7 attack next turn to defeat this one because it has 5 defense and only 5 attack goes into this spot so I think that is the best option I have So he now plays his general here to defeat my ranged guy. And yeah, I'm not sure how I get, will get rid of it, re get rid of him. But I'm for sure playing now this cavalry unit here to defeat the second commander. So I'm already halfway um, to the win and yeah I can re retreat this one I'm for sure doing that so he played this card which is 5 attack ranged guy which defeated one of my commanders so he has now one um, 
he now defeated one of my commanders. And yeah, I really need to defeat it because defeat him because he is not a commander. So I think I use this one to go here and hope it stays alive until next turn and then I can attack with my general here. So my opponent defeated w with this unit my spearman that was here, but more importantly recalled his um, general, right? I always mix up general and commander. Anyway, I can defeat his third commander now this turn. I need a free so I can use my general. I can use this other commander that I drew. Or this unit. And as this is the weakest unit, I think it's best to play this one. Um, it's worth noting that archer units, it can't shoot because it gets attacked anyway. But if it could shoot, it only shoots in your own turn. So even if it w w wasn't attacking and it would shoot, I could still play it here and I don't get affected by the 5 rage attack and it would survive. I would only get affected by the 4 attack here. So I think I play this one. Here. And I can recall my cavalry unit. Yeah, let's do that. So my opponent is hesitant to put another commander out because, or his general out because if I defeat one more I win. He puts a card here, attacks with two, so he needs a free attack and this one is gone. I don't think I can prevent that because I need five attack to defeat this one and I don't have a card with five attack. Um, the only one I can defeat is this one with this card. But this means I put a commander out, which is always risky. But the good thing is, I don't think... Um, it's pretty safe, because it detects 4 in this direction, 4 in this direction, 2 in this direction, and 1 in this direction. So in all 4 spots, he can put a card out, it attacks at least with 1. So I think I'm doing it. And that's my turn. So my opponent played his general and defeated my unit. Now I, if I defeat his general I win, so I, this is my primary goal. The problem though is that I don't have any unit that attacks from the bottom. The best hope is to play my, general, my own general here, tag him here and retreat this unit and attack him here from this side. But this unit is no way. So I think my best bet is to try to defeat this unit first and hope that he lets his general here so that I can attack it later. So I think I used this unit here. Oops. Um, to play it here, and then next turn, if he, if both are still there, this one is still for sure there. But if this is still there, I play my general here, and I use this retreat, and that's my turn. So my opponent deployed this range unit with an attack of three and recalled one of his other units but as I planned out I put take this unit deploy here and attack him with 4 if he doesn't go here I win next turn with a 4 here 
So this seems very good. And yeah, let's recall this unit. I noticed after the last turn that I made a huge mistake. The only when he way he can prevent me uh, a win from me is if he puts a card here and I had a free attack here and a free attack here so I basically beat most of the cards with six attack here so I should have left my card here but I took it back and he took the opportunity and put a card here so yeah that's not very good so let's redeploy my card Oops, here and try it again for next turn. So he put one here and this basically means that I win, right? I just deploy one unit here. And this is the fourth defeated commander or general. And this basically means I win. Game over, yeah, and I win. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game. Thanks for my opponent Stonecrusher who programmed the game and played with me. And, yeah, that's not the usual kind of game that I enjoy, but it, because of the fantasy theme, I'm not big into fantasy. But, yeah, it's pretty abstract. You place a card down, count the number of... Uh, number count the numbers together that point at one card and if it's higher than it's a fan it gets defeated and so on and it's pretty nice with all the special abilities with cavalry that can recall easily berserkers that attack as long as it can and so on that's adds a lot to the game and the archers that have range attack and so on uh, leave some comments how you enjoy the game and see you soon bye